Hi, I'm Josh Stewart. And I'm Jeff Fortuna. And we're with LCDM Corporation. Today, we're going to be giving you an inside look at our adjustable dead box. Hey Harry, isn't it expensive to change out a whole new dead box after it's been blown out by green? That's right Lloyd, that's why we're just going to replace the cone instead of the whole entire dead box. Hey, that was pretty fast. Yeah, it must have been my coffee we drank this morning. Yeah, so what are we looking at here? This thing is getting hammered with soybeans, so we wanted to see how this cone held up with the urethane liner. It looks like it held up pretty well, I don't see any holes or signs of wear, so we can reuse it, right? That's right, Harry. So what's the next step, Harry? Well, the next step would be to inspect the lower half, Lloyd. We want to check the same thing. As you can see, we've lined this with rhino hide. We're going to check for signs of wear. Everything looks good, so it looks like we can reuse it. Hey, Harry, what happens if the guts do blow out? Well, Lloyd, all you got to do is pop that cone out like we're going to do here and replace it with a new one. You can order one right here at LCDM. Well, that sure beats buying a whole new dead box. Oh, it sure does. So Harry, you're telling me it only takes a handful of hardware to replace this thing? Absolutely. So typically in this step, Lloyd, we'd replace the cone. However, we want to use this one again for prototyping. So we're going to switch it into a new body. This would be the reinstallation process. So now that the cone is in the prototyping body, we can install the top half of the dead box back in its original position. Uh, Harry, are you still there? Uh, yeah, Lloyd. I just got done taking my nap. I'm not used to you working this slow. Oh, I know. I'm getting excited about this prototyping. I think I want to work a little faster now. Get her done! Sir so Lloyd, what are we trying to do here? Well, Harry, we want to see what actually happens inside this thing when beans are flowing through. That's right, Lloyd. That's why I put that piece of plexiglass there. I knew I did that for a reason. You engineers, I don't know how you come up with this stuff. Speaking of engineering, Lloyd, here's the specs we got on this setup. We got a 10 inch downspout about 40 foot long and 80 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to run that round spout right into our dead box. It should, in theory, hit the cone dead center and create a cushion. Well, Harry, you know my thoughts on theory. I want to actually see this thing run. Oh, you do? Well, let's test it out and see what we got. Hey Harry, that was quick. Let's slow it down. Okay, Lloyd. We can slow it. Not your voice, Harry. The video. Oh, okay. As you can see, a pocket of grain is being formed from the incoming grain. It then overflows over the edges of the cone, and that pocket reduces the amount of damaged grain. Well, Harry, I guess our test worked. Absolutely. So go online, give us a call, check out our other products if you guys out there have any questions. Thanks for watching.